uh, it's good to have everyone here in Orlando to start off an important 2021. Starting tomorrow morning, let's be the best version of yourself every minute that, uh, that you spend on the field. Prepare the best that you can for these two games and continue preparing for the Olympics. Let's have a good, competitive, intense, but enjoyable camp. And I will see you tomorrow on the field. You know, January camps over the years have been vitally important. You know, they're the start of the, the new year and it feels so good to be back with the team. With this January camp, it's a little bit different. With Olympic prep, you know, six months away, it's, it's vitally important for us to really come in, hit the ground running. While we may have been kind of not in the public eye on games and TV and doing all these tournaments and stuff, every single player has been working extremely hard, being the best version of themselves so that ultimately when we meet up like we are here, we can put it all together and, and just keep making each other better. We're hitting the ground running. We've got two games coming up and it's, uh, it's go time now. Two days ago, we announced uh, Becky Sauerbrunn as the new captain of the, of the national team. My goal is in this position just to do whatever the team needs in order for the team to be at its best. It is an important year for the U.S. women as the next few months are going to include the She Believes Cup, the tune-up for the Summer Olympics. It is great to have the Stars and Stripes back in action again. Crossed by Haram. Lloyd! Play it as a pass, second goal! Another from the U.S. She is Brazilian born, now a USA citizen. Tonight, she will make her international debut. Looking for the hat trick. End line. The cross. Four of it. Christy Mewis. All the goals by the Mewis sisters. Here we go, baby. Love you. Life. Life. Everybody have fun. Dominate. Play for each other. We got new lineups out here and everything, but everybody's got each other back. Ready? Here we go. Wide for Krieger. Well driven ball from Kiger Macario. No! Katarina Macario, welcome to the U.S. Women's National Team. Ten goals in two matches. I think they're going to be very pleased with that performance. One thing you can bet on uh, United States, Canada is that it will be intense. Seventy-ninth minute, scoreless free kick here, USA, from distance, and a pass to the box, Lavelle, goal, U.S. leads! The U.S. has to be ready to go today against Brazil, that was a tough game the other night against Canada, and now they must defend against this. U.S. sits at the top of the table with two wins and are looking to become the first team to win back-to-back -back She Believes Cup trophies. Looking, sliding it through, Morgan! And there it is for Alex Morgan. Moran, headed, and it's another goal for Kristen Press. And it's a simple tap-in for her at the back post. And this win from the United States is the first time a team has won back-to-back -back She Believes Cup trophies. For 2021, She Believes Cup champion, the United States. Turn up, turn up. This is going to be a true test. You know, we we have faced some good opponents this year, and now the level is just going up. So as our level goes up, you know, we have to continue raising that bar.
Carly Lloyd, who will be playing in her 300th game. We congratulate Carly on that achievement. And on three, one, two, three. Who's 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 out? Out? Here we go. Aslani's going to go over there to take it. Aslani. Towards the middle, man came out and it's the first goal. Sweden is on the board. Comes outside the box now. Hara brings it in. Okay. Is she calling for a penalty? She just pointed to the penalty spot in the 87th minute. Megan Rapino with 57 career international goals. Game tying goal up to her. Rapino stepping up and she scores 1 1 like it's routine. Welcome to the Stade Océan in Le Havre. France against the United States here. We have to make a statement from the very beginning, okay? From the first whistle. Press forward. And there could be a chance here now for 2-0, and it is! Let's get ready for the next one, well done. This team perseveres because when other teams get discouraged, when the goalkeeper makes a great save, I think we're able to make the team feel the pressure and the wrath that we're coming. U.S. corner. From that corner, it's the goal for Milos! Once again, we found a way. That's what we're very good at. Played into the box. Early chance line. She's got it. The oldest player to ever score for the U.S. national team. Can't wait to call this one. First time any U.S. national team has opened up a new stadium. Now Carly Lloyd. And press. There it is. The moment they've been waiting for. Number one. Q2! That was a fabulous uh, pick off there by Haran, and now Williams on the move. Flip Williams for the US, can she finish it? Yes, she can! Going home, baby! Three wins! Christy and Sam Mewis set to make history later this month. Both headed to the Olympics, they will become the first sisters to represent the U.S. women's national team at a major senior tournament. Rapino, Christy Mewis in the turn, received it well to her sister Sam. The Sam Mewis from Christy Mewis. The fans in Hartford are incredible. Like, they were just soaked to the bone with us, cheering all game long. Look who's in. It's a big moment for Tobin Heath, not seen her since December. I had a long time to think about what it would be like getting back on the field, and you know, you play the game a lot in your head. Ahí estaba, qué buena pelota. Tobin Heath, peligrosísima en el 1 a 1. Le va a pegar desde ahí, Heath. No. <laughs> it was one of those things that kind of slowed down, and it was, it was picture perfect. The final dress rehearsal, next stop, Tokyo. The last chance for the US women to leave the right final impression. And now here's Lindsay Haran! Well, that's the way! The fans that sent us off today were absolutely amazing. It's going to be hopefully a smooth ride. The referee blows her whistle. The world champions, United States, are thrashed in their opening game. 3 0 victors were Sweden. And an important challenge on Lindsay Horan, but here's a chance for Rose Lavelle. The United States are off and running in Tokyo 2020. Press with the cross, falls at the back post, and it's number five. For it to be overturned. The call stands. Martin saved by Nea. Alyssa Nea atones for her error on the equalizing goal. Megan Rapino to send the United States to the semi final of Tokyo 2020. It doesn't get much more comprehensive than that. Megan Rapino into the top corner, and the USA win 4 2 on penalties. Fleming for Canada, scores! 
French went the right way, she couldn't keep it out. Big problems here for the United States in this semi-final. She's going for goal and scores! The Olympico again at the Olympic Games by Megan Rapino. Simon, she is fantastic. She is. 43 towards Carly Lloyd. Oh, what a goal! It's sensational! It's a brilliant goal by Carly Lloyd. It's a first ever bronze medal for the US women's national team at the Olympic Games. Tonight, I, I just savored everything. Um, heard every chant, saw as many posters as I could, jerseys hanging. Um, it was incredible. Lloyd, the header, five goals! Five goals for Carly Lloyd! And there's, of course, the hometown kid, Rose Lavelle. She's actually from right here in Cincinnati, known as the queen of this queen city. Towards the area. Rose Lavelle! The hometown kid gets the scoring started tonight in Cincinnati! I love you guys so much. I can't thank you enough for all the support and love you've shown me throughout the years. That's it. Thank you guys. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to midfield for a special presentation. The USA's newest member of the 100 cap club, number nine, Lindsay Horan. Tonight, Carly Lloyd will play in her 316th and final match for the U.S. Women's National Team. Leaving the field for the last time, your captain, number 10, Carly Lloyd. To leave the field one last time with the Lloyd jersey on my back and then to go off as Hollands. I think that's sort of a, a tribute to kind of the next chapter. This chapter is, is going to be about Brian and I, and I think that's just really special. Kali, Kali, And Williams heads it forward. A chance here. Hatch and Hatch. She scores in her first starting appearance. U.S. gets one of the earliest goals they have ever scored. Off that free kick. It'll bounce. That's dangerous to Ford. Saved by Murphy. Tipped it over the bar. Spectacular. Tonight, we've seen Sanchez, Weaver, Balser, and Murphy go from uncapped to their debuts. Coming up, it's the first half kickoff from Newcastle, Australia, as the U.S. Women's National Team prepares for its final test of 2021. Here's Lynn Williams. Purse on the right. There's not too many up alongside her. Here's a chance for Hatch. She's done it again. Ashley Hatch. Oh, cuts off the post, big save, Murphy! Emily Fox will lead the game, replaced by Amani Dorsey, who makes her international debut. In towards Kerr, Kaya Simon, deflection! In! Australia equalise! Back through Davidson there, queuing up the Americans, chance for Horan! Oh, the flag's up! to deny the Americans what they thought was the winner. Only up from here, so we're excited for next year.